everybody, this is Damon with Shadow Flame Creations and today we are going to be continuing with Cozy Grove. This is going to be day 10 in Cozy Grove. and that looks good too. Okay, into our game. We got a new follower yesterday, which was exciting. So this channel is now up to nine followers. animals want a couple of different foods. Ivy. I think that was roasted veggies. And I gotta figure out if those are donuts or bagels. I'm not quite sure what those are. Badge, and we'll check those at the end of our stream today. I think I only had one of those, but I gotta figure out if those are donuts or if those are bagels. Alright, let's go. Let's go see what Baker Bear says. Let's bake something. Okay, so these are bagels. Because I want to get my animals fed. Gotta feed the birds. Yeah, the donuts look different, so those were definitely bagels. I've already donated bagels, so I don't need to donate more. We need deer essence for the pretzel buns. We could make a boiled egg and donate the boiled egg. I feel like that would be a waste of eggs, because I don't know what other things I'm going to have to make. I think today we're going to start with Baker Bear's quest, because I want to feed my other bird, and I need her area lit up to do that. A good stock is one of the most important kitchen staples. And the secret to making a good stock? High quality soup bones. So she wants a mastodon bone. I sort of remember where I saw one. It was near a fallen log behind something. So fallen logs should be over by... Um, Francesca. But I want her area lit up so I can see if I can feed this bird. And we also need more iron ore so that we can try to finish Lee's quest too, and that's the farmer bear. The corn bear. So that was iron ore. It was 
either iron or silver. Actually, it was probably silver. But we can turn iron ore into silver. Last time they said it was by a fallen log, it was over here by Francesca's area. So I'm kind of over here looking for a mastodon, mastodon bone. Could be along the beach, because there are some logs along the beach too. check over here first. And I am not readily seeing it. If you guys see it on the map, let me know. Because it's... I, I tend to, like, laser focus on one or two areas and don't always see everything. one needs to be here. We got a crimson robe and a rare gothic lamp crafting recipe. The robe is new, so we can donate that. The lamp is cute. I like that. are still trying to get up to 200,000 gems for our upgrade at kits. We are at 120. Alright, we're gonna pop down to the beach and see if we can find Mastodon, Mastodon Bone around the beach. One day I'll be able to say that word. I think it's because I'm trying to combine Mastodon and Bone together. Oh, bags are full. Did I, did I get both things? Yeah, but my bags are still 
kind of sort of starting to run low on storage space. say we had to dig, so I think the bone should just be out in the open. on the beach. Oh, just what I was looking for. Hmm, but this bone looks like it's laid out in the sun for a while. Well, even if I can't use my new recipe with this, we can grind it up for cupcake toppings. Uh, okay. So that gave us 1,500 coins and a plant chair crafting recipe. And now I can also see if my bird is hungry. These round ones that don't exactly look like fish, these are either recipes or essences. So this one was an essence, and that's a spirit deer essence. So anytime I see those, I try to get them right away. Alright, it doesn't look like our birdie is hungry, so we'll go ahead and give it a pet. spooky bird because he has spooky lamps near him. <laughs> Hello again, Bright Eyes. You know, whipping up my creations can be challenging on an island like this. Sometimes I have to improvise. For example, if a dish needs a little bit of extra crunch, boom, pine cone. <laughs> Want to give it an appetizing glow? Throw a few of those weird mushrooms in the mix. Out of salt? Why, there's a whole ocean of salt all around us. Just throw a splash or two of seawater. After a while, you develop an instinct for these things. Um, and health violations. All of the health violations. We're gonna use a dowsing rod. what the dowsing rod gives us today. I think this is the upgraded one, so we might be able to get two. One. 
yeah, we can get two. Check out Lee, because I know we're still working on that quest for him. Uh, quest log. So we need five silver ingots. And we've got one, so we need four more. Don't say they're new, so we can burn those. We're gonna burn the pecans because I want flour. on all the rocks we can find to try to get those ores. <laughs> some wood, some spirit bird essence. Oh. 
There we go. Just bouncing off of the trees and making it hard to get. So it looks like one of the ingots we got was a gold ingot. Um, I don't know, well, gold ore. I don't know if I need to turn it into an ingot for it to be broken down into silver. Um, because Francesca can do that. Um, but for now, we're going to check out Postal Bear. His area is all lit up, which tells me he doesn't really have a quest for us today. It's important to stop and appreciate the beautiful things in the world, Stamp Champ. For example, take this verse I've memorized. <clears throat> Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. <sighs> you see what I mean? Aren't you just completely recharged now? Yeah, so he doesn't have a quest for us today. We'll give him a hug. And then we'll check our mailbox. So we got a bagel. We got the curious medieval lamp that we ordered from the mayor yesterday. And then this is another letter from Scoutmaster Blake. So cheerio, Scoutacular. I just realized that we didn't cover imps in your orientation, did we? <laughs> I didn't think you'd be running into any malevolent creatures of despair and woe quite so soon. Why, I remember when I went to the National Jamboree back in 04. Angry imps stole half of the camp's underwear. Good times. They went away when old Sue tossed the big horned imp a turnip. Keep those spirits up. Signed Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. Never got my underwear back. And he sent us a common cottage small sculpture. Cozy decor. Common cottage. Small. What are you? Ultra rare decoration. Lamp. Fun decor. Medieval. <sighs> fun medieval decor. Most of my fun decor is down by the beach. So this is all fun decor. Don't really have a medieval side. So let's do mares and get that lit up. That's a big mushroom. Is that a new mushroom? Poison mushroom. Trumpet mushroom. That is new. So we can donate that. Oh, the small gold ore is also new. We'll go donate these and then we'll go do the mayor's quest. We got money. 
money. And we got quartz. I'll take it. That puts us a little bit closer to being able to upgrade. Alright, Miss Mayor, what do we got? As mayor, I intend to make Cozy Grove the eco-friendliest town in the world. That's why I've decided to only fund public art made with renewable materials. As for acquiring those materials, well, that's where you come in, my faithful assistant. So we've got to find an open suitcase and a wizard hat. So there's four suitcases. Hey, Artadile. So there's a one by a broken rowboat. And then the wizard had us by a broken helm, which I feel like both of those are down by the beach. Yep, okay, so there's one suitcase. It's not the broken rowboat one. There's the broken helm one, so there's the witching hat. So we're still looking for the broken rowboat. Which there's that one, which I don't see it there. There's this one. Which they're not counting as a broken rowboat. Then there's this one. Oh, there's two. That was really fast. I hope so. We're at 124. Ooh, our bird just got really pretty. They just leveled up. Look at that. Pretty bird. And they did evolve. They leveled up. Wasn't you? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Might have been. Might have been Astell's. I don't know. If it happens again, I'll take another look into it, because uh, I don't know which Discord channel it was that went off. I like that we're getting leveled up birds, though, because the leveled up birds give the happy spirit bird essence. Um, which is used in more complex recipes. Oh, thank you, Coffee Bot. <laughs> yes, that's everything our sculptor requested. 
I think this will be the art installation that finally puts Cozy Grove on the map, don't you? Here's your payment for a job well done. Spirit log, money, so 500 coins. And stuff getting lit up. Natural decor. Natural decor. Um, okay, so we have Cozy Cottage and we have what are you? Lamp Fun Medieval. Where do we want to start putting medieval stuff? Because I was thinking maybe, maybe over here by this little cottage. But my other fun decor is down by the beach, but I, I don't think this is really like the medieval vibe. Oh yeah, you weren't here. We put this little froggy merry-go-round in. Yeah, because this we have kind of natural decor, because that's what those plants like. This is a potential for medieval. Um, we've got over here, which I've got this little mushroom lamp. There's this little campground area. This is spooky. So this is where I've been putting spooky lamps because this bird likes spooky stuff. Um, these areas don't really have anything lit up here. Why not put medieval up there in the well? To the right. this that's a little campfire yeah um because I think there's gonna wind up being a spirit there which is why I haven't really put anything over here yet Plus, I'd have to, like, it would encroach on the spooky decor. Um, although medieval does kind of fit with, um, with the fox, because the... Here. And then let's 
fine. Because now you've got a little light, a little medieval lamp. Especially since his cart looks kind of like modern medieval. And we've already got this little mushroom, which I think kind of fits that vibe. Yeah, okay. We'll make that a little medieval area then. And then we've got this, like, cozy candle over here, too. Or shell bug. Shell bug? Hermit crab. So that's cozy, common, cottage, small structure. That's new. That's also new. So we've got a couple new things to donate, so we'll go donate them. Why do you not make a giant cozy candle? I mean several di I have the the 17.5 ounce candle. In the glass jar. I like the cut of your gin. Your mizzen and stay sales, however, need a bit of work if you ask me. Don't feel bad, we all need a bit of work somewhere, don't we? So that was a repeat dialogue he said before. Longer than the bigger tall ones you have? Huh. A lot of it would have to depend on me being able to get the candle jars at a reasonable price. Oh, he needed a hug. Um... I would sell it for a lot of money, but it would still, like, I want it to be fair pricing for my customers, so if I can't get the jar for a price that would make it fair for both me and my customers, then I usually don't. That's kind of what drives my decision for being able to get stuff and add it to the shop because if I can't find it in an affordable price that would you know let me sell it for a price that I would be comfortable having my customers purchasing them at then I don't get it because I don't want to like make my customers pay a shit ton of money when they don't have to, right? So it's got to be fair for both me and for my customers. Because I don't want to just be like targeting targeting upper class. I want people in like middle and lower class to also be able to get the products and enjoy them too. You know, I feel like with a lot of candle businesses, most of them do tend to market towards upper class and don't really market towards middle and lower class. Yeah, but there's there's charging a lot of money because you're selling 
a giant candle. Um, and then there's charging a lot of money just to charge a lot of money. <laughs> I want it to still be fair. My special trees are on the loose again. The ones you call books. They scattered across the island. Could you track them down for me? I heard someone say it was nearby some delicious desserts. An imp has it. Yeah. My thing is, like, when I start looking into candle vessels that large, um... The candle vessels tend to be so expensive that it doesn't make sense for me to to get them. What was the other one? Near a skull. Last imp. You are my last imp. Um, you don't get to pick. So when you're creating the game, you don't get to pick what gender your character has. Um, Three more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager, eager to give you if you can help them. Um. They, they didn't really put an emphasis on gender, um, but they did make it to where you can change your clothes, you can change your hair. Um, but as far as like selecting a gender in the beginning, there is none to pick. My special trees, you found them! It gets so lonely out here without my special books, I'd lose my mind. So we got a common witch, large potted plant. Um, and some of the items that you can get, like you can get beards, to wear, you can get glasses to wear, there's like dresses and suit and tie, um, berets, beanies, I think there's like a mustache. Yeah, I love watching the color fill in. Do Maker Bear next. I 
actually, let's do the secondary voice line. You seem a decent sort, little Fauna, but your bipedal brethren can be so destructive. I've heard stories of humans cutting down a grand or cutting down grand old trees just so they could count the rings. But isn't it so much nobler to create something rather than to destroy it? So much more meaningful? Yeah, I agree. How are you doing? Good to see you again, camper. Sip. What can I do for you? Hmm. Let's hear some stories from your scouting days. I finished most of my park duties for the day, so I guess a story couldn't hurt. It was my mom who encouraged me to join up. She knew I was a sensitive kid, and she knew that I was scared of my own shadow. She wanted me to find confidence and purpose, so she introduced me to a scoutmaster. There weren't many spirit scout cups here on Cozy Grove in those days. It had fallen out of fashion. In fact, our scoutmaster had a troop of two. It was just me and Bill. Sip. Well, that's enough stories for one day. But I want to know more. My stories are like a fresh cup of tea. Take them one sip at a time or you're liable to get burned. Okay. One common mistake among inexperienced campers, bringing too many supplies. Your pack in your tent can only hold so much, you know. Luckily, that campfire of yours may know a few tricks to expand your storage. Alright, now make her bear. Hey there, maker buddy. A growing scout like you must have a big appetite. If you bring me a few things, I'll whip, whip up a great picnic lunch for you. He wants... Oh, I don't have nuts. So I need any raw nut, and I don't have any. We can dig those up, though. So if I find any diggy spots, I should be able to dig them up. Spots and any imps because sometimes tossing food at imps can give you a nut. Because there is none. There is no gender. That's not one of the options when you start the game. You get to pick your hairstyle. I think you might be able to pick some of your clothes. Um, but there is no gender to pick. I'd say if you wanted to to pick one, I I would just say non-binary because there are so many different like hair and clothing options to make it your own. Um, like there are beards that you can wear, there are mustaches you can wear, there are feminine and masculine hairstyles. But as far as like an actual gender, it there are none. 
Very nice, thank you. Preparing food is a lot like crafting. It takes patience and care. Here you go, a fresh picnic basket for you. Pickled veggies. Panna cotta. Superfood smoothie. And my backpack is full. But there's a little recipe there that I'm going to want to pick up. Let me go donate stuff and then we'll come back and grab that recipe. crafting recipe. That's new. Alright. And... That's two more crafting recipes. Another two more crafting recipes. And my bag is full again. So we just learned cocoa tart. Mustard. Camp churros. Oh, those look cute. Chocolate pie. Biology lab table. Epic decoration, spooky decor, mad scientist. If you've got too much of one resource and not enough of another, try crafting them. Don't ask me how it works. All I know is if I hammer the softwood long enough, it turns into hardwood. The miracle of carpentry. I can make another silver ingot. flower pigment and iron ingots to make that. Alright, we need one more silver ingot and a bunch more iron ingots. So that's going to take a little bit to get.
else do we have? We've done Baker Bear. Lee's is the one that we're trying to get materials for. Seagull Bear didn't have one. Baker Bear we just did. Charlotte didn't have one. Um, Francesca didn't have one. Coastal Bear didn't have one. <laughs> you search giant candles on YouTube and it shows candles about my size? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. That's a big candle and it lasts for a long time. It is said that absolute power corrupts absolutely. Wise words, no doubt. Still, if someone wanted to test that theory out, I could be persuaded to volunteer my services. Um, how long does it last? It is over a hundred hours. I think I've got the full time listed on my website. Let me check. That is another Discord notification. So between 120 and 130 hours is what I have it listed as. But I've had some people say that it's longer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 100, 120-ish hours. I don't think that's the problem. Um, when you have a big candle like that, it definitely needs to be contained in a vessel. Um, and it, it becomes a matter of like wicking it that becomes the problem so you've got to figure out how many wicks you need to use to be able to sustain the candle burning through its lifetime yeah scout does a little dance the bears will do little dances too It's like the idle animation if you leave it alone.
some shells just popped up on the beach. Absurd candles, LTD. <laughs> Sophia Nygaard did, um, did a really giant candle where she melted down a bunch of like Yankee Candle candles and put them all together in one jar, which was a lot. Yeah, if you watch the uh, the little villagers when I catch a fish, they do a little dance too. I also do it when I catch bugs. It depends on the wax, um, because every wax has a different cost. Um, and then you also have to calculate the cost of shipping into that too, so just the wax without the cost of shipping. Um, we'll look at Blended Wax 921, because that's one of the ones that I use a lot. Without the cost of shipping worked into it, it's $2.83 a pound. But then you also have to calculate the cost of shipping into that per pound price too.
yeah, it's a lot. He's got a little mouse hat. Shimmered. I'm gonna see if that's new and it's just not showing that it's new. See if that mushy is new. It doesn't say it's new, but I have doubts. Okay, it's not new. I just wanted to double check. I don't think so. You can only move the trees that you plant yourself, so if they were already there as part of the game, then you can't move them. Um, but the landscape does shift and adjust kind of on a day-to-day -day basis, so what it looks like today is not going to be the same tomorrow. layout is going to be about the same um, but as far as like the trees and the bushes and stuff those kind of move sometimes because there used to be a rock over here but now there is no rock over here um, so the rock popped up in a different place there are some constants like the furniture type stuff is a constant these shelves are always here, these tarps are always here, but the, the bushes sometimes move around, and I can put stuff there, so like I could put my own decoration thing there. mushrooms and get some mushroom for baking. Actually, we'll do these with the fish too so I can get some fish bones. Check on our 
cats and see if we can feed our cats. out of here so it likes natural decor doesn't like spooky decor or other cats uh that's a game cat so that was a cat that was um trapped in the cat collar Rustic. Do you count? You don't count. Huh. Cozy. Natural. Natural. Do I have anything that likes natural? Oh, but you can't put them outside. Huh. Let's see. Likes lamp and bustling. We don't really have a bustling area. Likes flowering, bush, lamp, and natural. 5,000 coins, 10 quartz gems. That's. Spooky decor, common witch. <laughs> Spirit bird essence. That's not a new item. Yeah. 
Alright, we'll go donate that because one of those flowers is new and then the rest I can sell. Make some tofu to clear up some space. also make deluxe greens, which is a new item. So we'll go ahead and craft that so I can donate it. Churros, cocoa treat, pickled veg, fruit salad. I'm gonna make the fruit salad because that's a new item. be a new... Yeah, let's go ahead and make that too. Get some more donations in there. It's not a fish salad.
but I needed to clear up some space because it was getting kind of full. I should make some fancy greens too. Yeah, let's go make some fancy greens. I'm not sure if there are recipes that use the fish. I know I can turn the fish into fish bones, and the fish bones are used in crafting. Maybe later. Yeah, that's a possibility. Because this is kind of early in the game. This is only day 10. And it might be something that you unlock with a quest, potentially. this other fish and then we'll go sell them and then grab our mail. We're at 127,000 out of our goal of 200,000 to be able to upgrade our shop here. for that. And we're gonna go donate what we can donate of that. salad and cocoa pancakes. That got us another recipe and some quartz. The salad recipe 
got us another different recipe, two different recipes, and some quartz, and the deluxe greens got us some quartz. So let's learn those new recipes. Mole taco. Fruit salad. And farmer salad number two. So we'll go see if we can make any of those. Oh, there's a shell. Is that a new shell? No. That's one I can sell though. Is this for the scout or do the ghosts eat? Um, it's for your pets. Um, sometimes the ghosts will ask for different food recipes, but I think that's a little bit later in the game. Um, but your pets will ask for food and the spirit imps will sometimes ask for food. So those little guys in the top corner, they'll ask for food sometimes. new recipes so we can make mushroom tamari with some of the tofu that we've collected we need cocoa bean to make the mole taco I'm a little low on spirit imp essence We can do that one though. Farmer salad number two. Because I have a little bit more happy imp essence. <laughs> Garum, yeah. Uh, I think Tasting History, Max Miller, did a video on making garum. Garum? Garum? I don't know how you pronounce it. But it was very interesting. It looked like a very intense and smelly process. Let me see bonbon. Was there a bonbon recipe? Hold on. Decadent tree that will rot your teeth, beloved by imps. So that's the bonbon. Eventually, um, I don't know if it's the bonbon or if it's one of the other items, but you have to like guide two imps to each other by tossing treats and making them like run towards the treats until they, like, meet each other in the middle. Um, but I don't remember... Uh, that's a little bit later in the game. Whoops. 
Oh, I got lucky. It didn't run away. <laughs> You're an imp. <laughs> the wrong man in the right kitchen can make all the difference in the world. Yeah, I can see that. Big lineup of fishies here. Is this harmonica? Talking about the music? I'm not sure. I don't think it's harmonica, because harmonica is an instrument, and this does not sound like harmonica. sell these um because I can always get more there's zero covers of this piece on YouTube it's blasphemy I mean, maybe they didn't cover it because it's already perfect. Another recipe. We've got two recipes. Yeah, um, it's been out for a while, like, I've had it for a couple of years, but it is kind of one of those, I guess you'd call it an indie game, 
where there's some recognition, but not a whole lot of recognition. And I don't think they advertised a whole bunch when they put it out. A lot of it depends on how it's played. And they figured out how to play the two instruments together to sound nice and complement each other. I also like that like musical soundtracks in games are getting more recognition now. Like the musician from Boulder's Gate 3 won the award for the music that he did in the game, which is amazing. Because having the right music in a game at the right moments is instrumental to how the game feels as a whole. And if you don't have the right soundtrack, then things don't translate properly. So I like that that's something that's getting a lot more recognition now. Because it is really important. Let's take a look at what the mayor... Oh, we'll catch these fish first. Oh, inventory's full.
Okay. Unfortunately, the clock is ticking. The hours are going by. The past increases. The future recedes. Possibilities decrease and regrets mounting. And Ceci has not played Final Fantasy yet. Final Fantasy IX Blind Run. I need to get it. I don't have it. I don't own the game. I can't play it if I don't own it. <laughs> Someone buy me. But no. Fantasy game trilogy. I've played 10, I played a little bit of 10 too. Um, I played 15. I haven't done the episodes on Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, the spinning wrenches when he crafts stuff, that is really cute. Yeah, the, the mayor carries a lot of like rare and legendary furniture items. Um, so this is a rare witch front gate, curious steampunk large sculpture, this is an ultra rare item, mysterious medieval ornament, this is an epic item. The episodes are cool. Gladio's episode is weak. Prompto's 10 out of 10. Iggy's is 10 out of 10. I've heard really good things about Iggy's episode. it is maximum trauma which is my cup of tea I think there's a kelp jaw on the beach because I think I ran out of pocket space and couldn't get it
Yeah. Yeah, they did things a little weird in Final Fantasy XV, like having the extra episodes instead of working it into the main story itself. That's new. So we have a new shell. So we haven't gotten any new fish today, but we've gotten some new shells. I haven't seen any new bugs today either. for that. 2,000 coins. <laughs> Flamey's so close to leveling up. So close, yet so far away. Can Seagull be pets? Um, I think it depends on where you live. I think in some places you can keep a Seagull as a domestic pet. Um, but you need, like, specific wildlife licenses to do it. Oh, whoops. Are my pockets full? My pockets are full. <sighs> Man, these 
these aren't giving me a lot of money at all. <sighs> I'm only getting chump change. Oh, okay, hold on. Mom brought in a bag of cat food, and my cat is trying to eat the cat food <laughs> out of the bag. Hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think we'll do another round of getting bugs and fish and stuff. see where we are for our goal for kit full again. Whoops, I did that too early.
You sound nicer in voice than in text. <laughs> I think part of that is because of um, being trans. Going on testosterone does a little bit for making your voice deeper, but doesn't do a whole lot. And pre-transition and pre-testosterone, my voice was really high-pitched. Um, it, it definitely lowered going on testosterone, but not a whole lot. <laughs> Two hour stream, y'all comment and subscribe. I know it's not accurate all the time, but right now it says I've got one viewer, which is probably you. like he's giving us less and less money for stuff. It's a ploy. Pink bird? What about pink bird? We've got a gold bird and a blue bird. Oh, yes, that bird. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect our badges and head out because I've done all the things I can do the rocks haven't respawned so I can't get any more ore and we need ore to finish Lee's quest and I've done every other spirit animals quests um, before collecting the badges we made it up to 135,000 hopefully some of the badges when we collect them will give us a little bit more money So the first badge was Animal Raising Tier 2 Beginner. We fed Tier 2 animals. We have fed three Tier 2 animals. So that's going to give us 250 coins. Our next quest is Sous Chef Intermediate. We made five basic food items. And that gives us 500 coins. Uh, how much of a deal is that 200,000 shop upgrade? So the shop upgrade is really nice because once you upgrade it, he will start carrying spirit logs. So you can buy spirit logs from him to upgrade Flamey. We got Artisan Elite, craft 500 items. 
so that's going to give us 10 semi-precious gems. And we got Materialist Elite. Collect Unique Material 35. And that is 10,000 old coins. Ooh. Okay. So now we're up to 146,000. So I think we'll be able to get it the next time we play. Because we only need about 50,000. If I get a clamshell and I'm able to get a black pearl from a clamshell, we'll definitely be able to get it. Um, but we've hit the point today where we're not getting a lot of money from the stuff that we've um, we've caught. And we're not getting money from quests that we're doing. So we're kind of at a standstill and it's trickling and really, really slow. But I think next stream we should be able to get up to that that 20k. So thank you guys for hopping on. Um, it is 3.49. I have D&D tonight starting at 6. So I don't think I'll be able to play another game tonight. Because um, I do have D&D. Pink bird. Yes, we have our little pink bird over here. This is Auntie Death. No. Yeah, that is Auntie Death, our adult eerie bird. No fish ice cream. But for now, we are going to head out. And I hope you guys have a good night. And thank you for joining and watching and hanging out. Bye.